And action. So he comes in and we talk. Same old shit, right? And then he asked me if I got any soup. I'm like, yeah, I got plenty of soup. So he's already there for five minutes only. He wants me to cook for him. I'm like, I have Jessabine and I got minestrone. But no, that's not good enough. He wants vegetable beef. I'm like, man, just have the minestrone. So that's what I cooked up. So I gave him a bowl with some crackers and it just clamps up. Just stops talking, just sits there, brooding, you know? Just like in a funk, this hideous soup funk that... Uh, so, I told him, basically, like, unless you got money to pay for my medical bills, you can fucking get lost. So that's what he did. He split. He didn't even touch the soup. I swear to Christ. I'm gonna beat his head over with a prosthetic arm. Now, I know you don't want to hear this, and I know you want me to be on your side and all, but honestly, it sounds like your dad's a total fucking stud. I mean, come on, he's all corroded and raspy and tweaked out. He's lived in a motel room for two years. So? He's a desperate bottle of maverick. I mean, come on, he's on the edge. It's my choice. What is? His motel fucking lifestyle, okay? I know he has settlement money from the accident. Wait a minute. So you're telling me he's holding out on you? I mean, he's got some loot? Yeah, I think so. See, that I got a fucking problem with. <sighs> so, some scientists found some Sasquatch hair. Fuck's a Sasquatch hair? This Sasquatch is another name for Bigfoot. And some scientists found the chair. <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, they're pubes. Wait a minute. Sasquatch is the one covered in head to toe with hair, right? Yeah. Hmm. Then follow me here. Now, how do you know which are his normal hairs and which are his pubes? When experts say they found Bigfoot's pubes, you take a statement like that at face value. I mean, check it. Initial test shows it's some sort of non-human primate. Primate? A primate is a name. Man, I know what a fucking primate is. That is so cool. I wish it's, I hope it exists. What, Bigfoot? Yeah. Man, why would you give a shit if Bigfoot exists? I'd hunt it. Oh yeah, right, okay, <laughs> get out of there, right? No, man, I would, I really. I'd chase its ass around, blow it away, skin the bastard, make a cool rug, sell the meat to Burger King or Arby's. Mm. Can you give me a lift tomorrow? Oh, Where to? What do you think? Well, what time? You gotta be there by nine. I, I guess I'll give you a ride. No, that's okay. I don't want to put you off or anything. Come on, I just want to sleep in. <laughs> Fuck off, I'll find a ride. Alright, come on. Look, I'll drive you, okay? No, really. Look, I said I'd drive you, okay? <laughs> hey, you got sleeping to do. I said I would fucking drive you. God, stop sniveling. I'm not sniveling. You are. You're sniveling like some kind of victim. Shut up. Oh, little chemo boy suffering from cancer. Cry me a fucking river. Fuck off. You're not even losing your hair. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, you know what it means. I know. I don't. Fucking tell me. Uh, whatever kind of wimpy cancer you've got doesn't even make you go bald. God, like, you ever notice on TV, like on Mori, all the cool cancer patients go bald? My stuff doesn't do that. Well, that's because you got pussy chemo. I implore you, fuck off, you <laughs> big dick. I'm chemo for your manhood. You're what? You are, I'm chemo for your, your whatever, yeah, your manhood. I won't let you become one of those people who start to feed off their disease. My uncle had pancreatic cancer, and that's all he fucking became. Pancreatic cancer man, and everything was about his disease and how he's bravely battling it, and all that disease hype, and the whole time, I'm thinking, what is so fucking brave about battling something you don't even have a choice about? You got cancer, you deal with it. It's like how we treat our cops and firemen, okay? Okay, so they save someone, they catch a killer. Yeah, I mean, that, that's great, you know, but it's their job. It's not like some civilian is risking their lives, you know, to intervene and save someone. A cop and a fireman has no choice. Doing that shit is no more than what's expected. Whatever. Eating while I'm talking? Listen, okay? It's 
their job, okay? They're not being heroes, they're just earning a paycheck and enjoying a privileged position in society. Whatever. So what are you going in for? Like you care. Oh, would you stop brooding? What are you going in for? You ever got cat scan? I <laughs> fucking know. <laughs> Dude, they give you a bottle of this shit, right? Oh, this yeah. white creamy shit. It's like moose semen. So, I got- <laughs> Not that you would know what drinking moose semen is like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just using poetic imagery so a puny little mind like yours can understand the horror and complexity of what I'm talking about. Well, thank you. I, I think I appreciate that. You fucking better. Okay. Well, so... So... So that's what you're doing, Moro. I'm drinking a pint of this moose cum and then they're gonna shoot Ida into my vein so they can, you know... See if I got any creepy stuff hanging out. That, that's fucked up, man. It is. Let me ask you a question. Let me pose a thought on to you. Please do. Now, why did you get cancer? I don't know. Well, what, did you, what did your doctors tell you? It could be one of 500 reasons. No, but at your age, ass cancer is really rare. Extremely. So, why the shit grow inside of you? I just told you, I don't fucking know! Yeah, well I do. Oh, wait. No, I do. I actually do. Hmm. There's no way in God's green earth you'd know more than my doctors do. What you continually fail to grasp, my disease little friend, is that I'm not burdened by overeducation. I have not spent the last eight years after high school getting taught how to think of what prepackaged crock of shit to spout so that I can be smart at parties and espresso bars. No, I actually think, okay? I have forced myself to remain open to the cosmic whatever. Cosmic whatever. Yeah, that's right. So, what's your diagnosis? Hmm. Existential pollution. What the fuck is that? All the shit out there, all the shit that eats at you day in and day out, all the shit that crawled up inside your ass and died like some sick rat and that got everything infected. And this shit is? Well, as I already touched on, all the girls that piss you off are bullshit jobs, are fucking fans, and especially, especially the psychotic, selfish asshole all the drivers that plague us every day of our lives. And you see, it's out there, like secondhand smoke and smog, hanging, drifting in the air. And that's why our our roadway enforcement, our Roadway counteroffensive against those scumbag fuckers of the world, and that's why, my friend, it's so important. <laughs> I am right, you know I am. <sighs> you know I'm right. Yeah, you are. Uh, Alright, here we go. Where? Next lean over. Red truck? Uh-huh. What's the crime? And we're just like an able and cuts across the United traffic without signaling. Uh -huh. That is so unacceptable behavior. Agreed. How's the belt supply? We're doing cool. Do we need more? No, we're cool. Alright, just tell me one. I know the game. Anyone behind us? No. Okay. Don't do it until just before the next offering. Okay? Who the fuck are you talking to? Hey, we can't get careless here, okay? Alright, here it comes. It's time to administer some real medicine. Chemo for a tumorous city. Concentrate the job Shut up! I am! Here we go. Alright. 